In this video, I'm gonna teach these two kids how to focus. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I have some guests today. These are my beautiful girlfriend's little brothers. Do me a favor and introduce yourself real quick. Hello, my name is Vinny. And what's your name? Hello, my name is Joseph. Yes. So, something uh, that a lot of kids deal with, uh, my son deals with it too, and it's just part of human nature, is that our minds tend to wander. So in the natural resting state of the mind, it just starts creating stories and bouncing all over the place. And as you probably know, in school, that's not too good. Or when a parent is trying to tell you something, or even a big sister, you know, and your mind's wandering, not good. So last night I had Vinny over here uh, write down some notes, and let me do a pop quiz real quick. Vinny, how many thoughts on average does the human brain have each day? 50,000 to 70,000. Boom, 50 to 70,000. So I had Vinny do a little experiment today. I told him to write down and see if he could track how many thoughts he noticed came up, what what number did you come up with? 51, but it was probably more. 51,000? 51, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, something I talk about with mindfulness and meditation a lot, a lot of people think that it's meant to stop thinking, but it's about noticing thinking. So, guess what? You already did some mindfulness today. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, this is about training the brain to kind of notice when our thoughts wander, and this is important. So, my man, Joseph, what was yesterday, Joseph? Yes, it was my birthday. It was his birthday. How old you turn? Ooh, 11. All right, so he turned 11. He got a bunch of Xbox gift cards, started playing the heck out of Fortnite. So, Joseph, let, let's talk real quick. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're playing Fortnite with your friends, right? You yeah. get a port of Fort or whatever you got. And, uh, <laughs> and all of a sudden, you're playing, and your friend needs you to cover his back and build a, a wall or something. And then all of a sudden, the cat's running by, and you're like, oh, hey, cat. What happens to your friend? Um, they're like, what? And then they're like, come on, come on, you gotta fucking run the game before you die! <laughs> exactly. So you see, so even in a video game, if your mind wanders and you're not paying attention, bad things can happen in video games. But, Vinny, you were doing this experiment in school, like, how, how did, did you notice uh, thoughts wandering in class, or when did you notice them? So it was mostly during lunch because, you know, it's like free time. We don't really focus on the lesson or teaching. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're just like wandering, thinking of other stuff. And they're like, hello, hello, answer me. Yeah. yeah. So what kind of problems could that come up with in school if you're not paying attention? You could get a bad grade when it comes up with the test. And that's no good, right? Yeah. Exactly. So there's a million different reasons why it's important to train our minds. So, there is actually a part of the brain that is responsible for focus and attention. And every time we practice mindfulness, just uh, present moment awareness, it actually strengthens that muscle. All right, so I'm gonna teach you guys a very simple mindfulness lesson, all right? All right. So in mindfulness, what we talk about is having an anchor, okay? So Joseph, do you know what an anchor is? It's like an anchor is like when like it's on a pirate and then like a pirate ship and then like the yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, what does an anchor do for a boat? Like it sail, uh, like it sails, it, like it makes it stop. It makes it stop. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So, what happens if the anchor isn't down? Like it keeps on going. Keeps going. So, think about the brain, like the boat. Okay. So. If we don't have an anchor, that mind just drifts out to sea and it gets lost. So you're like in class, you're chilling, you're listening to the teacher and you're like, oh, I can't wait to get home and play some Fortnite, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, I wonder who's gonna be online. Oh, I wonder if my friends are gonna play. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna get more V-Bucks. Oh, the next thing you know, class is over, you fail your test and get bad grades. That's not fun, right? No. Okay, cool. So today we're gonna be using our breath as an anchor. So this is really easy, it's so simple, you guys. Please bear with me. All right, so all we're gonna do we're going to close our eyes in a second. I'll tell you when to start. And you're just going to focus on your breath, the in and the out. And your mind is going to want to drift out to sea. And every time that happens, just say the word thinking in your head. And after you notice the thought, just bring it back to the breath. All right? The more that we do that, it's kind of like a game. It's a little bit of a game. Thought, breath, thought, breath, thought, breath, thought, breath. Every time you do that, that muscle gets a little bit stronger and you're gonna be buff. You're gonna be buff, Joseph. All right, okay, so just sit up straight. All right, and just take a deep inhale in through your nose. And as you exhale, just gently close your eyes. And let's just take a few deep breaths. Just notice how your stomach 
rises and falls. All right, now go ahead and just bring your breath back to a normal rhythm. And you can either focus on your belly going up and down or your chest. You can even use the anchor of your mouth or your nose where you notice the air coming in and out. And just every time a thought comes up, if you want to get up from your seat or start thinking about video games or even school, just bring it back to your breath. As the air comes in and out, see if you can see like what the temperature is. Is it hot or cold? All right, so let's take a deep inhale in through the nose and exhale and gently open your eyes. All right, how was that? How was your brain? It, it was like, it was wandering and like, I was like thinking about Fortnite and all that stuff and, like, <laughs> and like, and then I transferred it to my breath and then it, it and then like, my breath, like, and then like, it started to get a little warm yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that was it hard to keep bringing your attention back to your breath? Yeah. It was hard. Yeah, it was a little bit hard. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Vinny? It felt good. It felt good. Did you mm -hmm. have a million thoughts going through your head? Or? Yeah, it's like everything's like. Like everything in your head. Yeah, yeah. So now it's a lot easier to see how it's fifty to seventy thousand, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, and that's the thing. Our brains are constantly going. That's why I try to teach people when they're like, "Oh, I want to stop my thoughts." You ain't never stopping your <laughs> thoughts, right? Like if I sat here right now and said, "Don't think about ice cream," guess what you're gonna think about? Ice cream. Like it just happens. Yeah. So like I said, this is just a muscle that we're training. So all you gotta do, I'm letting you know right now. All you gotta do, do this five minutes a day. Five minutes. You got five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes what I do in between deaths, because I die a lot of video games, as you know, but <laughs> in between deaths, I'll just take a few mindful breaths and get myself back in the moment. All right? Uh, so can you guys do that? Maybe five minutes a day when you yeah. remember? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. Thank everybody for watching. Thank you for watching. Like this video and RKO that subscribe button. And if you want to watch some other videos on this channel, you can click or tap right there. But thank you so much for watching. Be mindful today, and we'll see you next time. Say Peace. bye. Bye. Bye.